Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Wow. <laughs> wow, we just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming this morning. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, here we announced uh, that uh, my intention to appoint Supervisor Carmen Chu to the post of Assessor Recorder, and that uh, we had made a commitment that we wanted to uh, make uh, her replacement appointment soon after we had some time to talk with residents, uh, businesses, and people in District 4 and get their input about uh, what they wanted to see as uh, a replacement for some big shoes for District 4. And uh, if I've learned anything, I've learned uh, that the residents do really appreciate uh, the leadership that uh, Supervisor Chu has done for the district. It continues to be very strongly felt by so many people that I had a chance to talk with from Sunset, the inner Sunset, to Parkside, to Ocean Beach. Uh, it, it's just incredible uh, how uh, that very large neighborhood has uh, really appreciated the work. Uh, and in that conversation, uh, I, uh, I had a very distinct, uh, strong push uh, that continuity was important to the residents and the businesses in District 4, uh, that they felt there was so much that the city had gone through and uh, the district had gone through in past years uh, that they not only welcomed what Carmen had done, but certainly understood the team that she had created to really help her legislatively, uh, help her uh, look at the district, implement the things, communicate with and among the rest of the supervisors who I want to thank uh, and all the other elected officials that are uh, behind us and the appointees and department heads want to thank all of them uh, for their constant work with uh, Carmen and uh, to know that uh, they have a member of the team that would present that very strong continuity for the district. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I spent the last few weeks uh, talking with residents, uh, uh, having uh, not only coffee, but uh, a number of different appointments. I uh, certainly talked with uh, individuals who were interested in the position as well, uh, and came to the conclusion that uh, we have uh, one of the finest, smartest uh, legislative aides, someone who knows City Hall, knows the workings of the board, and certainly has a history having been part of the previous uh, Gavin Newsom administration uh, in the Office of Public Finance, uh, has understood and helped uh, Supervisor Chu work uh, budgets, uh, helped create the plan to establish the two-year budget with our office, uh, but also helped uh, really talk through the district and with the rest of the board members uh, uh, and understanding deeply uh, what our budget concerns are. And then, I think on the district side, uh, truly representing uh, the interests of this district and all of its uh, diverse views about what it needed. Uh, so I want to introduce uh, my appointment today, uh, Katie Tang, who's been the legislative aide to Supervisor Carmen Chu. <laughs> Katie, Katie has uh, lived in the district uh, since she was one years old. That might have been just 13 years ago. Uh, you will note, and I'm sure it'll be part of the stories that we'll tell, she's pretty much the same age that Carmen was when she was appointed. Uh, but also her parents have lived in the district as well. Uh, she's been uh, not only uh, a, a resident there, but certainly someone who has been more than interested uh, in the district, uh, well representing all the different issues. She's a graduate of uh, Lowell High School. Uh, my <laughs> Both my daughters are blowing kisses to me from New York as they are about the same uh, time graduating from that fantastic school. Uh, she uh, has a very distinction of uh, gone to UC Davis and 
uh, not the usual four years, but in three years, double major. So obviously some very strong intelligence. And of course, uh, it's the proper time then uh, to thank Mr. and Mrs. Tang for that great lineage of parentage <laughs> that is represented there. Uh, I uh, have no doubt that uh, Katie will fulfill uh, these incredible uh, uh, obligations and responsibilities for the district, uh, representing everybody. She has been literally every corner. And uh, again, uh, the, the residents there have continued to say, can, can we have continuity? We want to get a lot of things done. We, we don't want people mired in political name calling or disputes, but really the collaborative spirit that this board uh, has been demonstrating over and over again as a whole uh, that they wanted the same thing representing District 4, uh, something that they obviously felt very strong about in Supervisor Chu's leadership and that Katie has been helping implement that kind of attitude, plan, and reflective of that for the last five years. Uh, so I have no doubt that she will be an effective representative of the district, uh, but as importantly, uh, someone who knows uh, already the workings of City Hall can be on the ground running. Uh, as we all know, there's an election that must be conducted. Uh, and uh, part of the conversations were, uh, how can we make sure we have someone that can balance all of these things at the same time, be truly committed to getting all the things done that are already have been on the agenda for the last couple of years that have to be done in the district. Uh, whether it's street paving, more parks, or getting that uh, nice artwork up in the Larson Park. Uh, there are all these different things that they want to see uh, completed and at the same time carry forward the future of this district in the most responsible way. I know we're going to have a great colleague, uh, especially uh, with the comments that I've heard from the rest of the board members. I think uh, they felt very uh, happy with this choice as well because they know Katie, they know her work, uh, they know how she's communicated with them, uh, not only their aides, but directly with them as well. And, and certainly, uh, Katie's had that uh, great uh, collaboration already with our uh, key agencies in the city. So with that, uh, I'd like to introduce our appointee who we will swear in tomorrow, uh, along with uh, appropriately swearing in Carmen as well uh, to her new post and have that done in uh, haste so that we can get on with the business of the city. May I please introduce Katie Tang. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I guess the suspense is over now. Um, I want to thank everyone for being here today, um, all the community members, um, members of the city family, the members of the board standing behind me, uh, my parents, um, uh, my partner, Justin, and of course, Supervisor Carmen Chu. Uh, but I especially want to thank Mayor Lee for giving me this incredible opportunity to serve the residents of District 4 and the rest of our great city. So thank you, Mayor Lee. Um, I also um, I have to be completely honest here. Uh, this is a very bittersweet moment for me. Um, as someone who has lived in District 4 for over 20 years, um, I am so honored to be able to serve on the Board of Supervisors and represent the district that I grew up in. But on the other hand, as a District 4 resident, I am incredibly sad to see Supervisor Chu leave as my supervisor. <laughs> So everyone always says that work is work and that you have to separate your personal life from your work life. And for me, especially in the past five years, um, work is very personal. Um, when I first started working in District 4, a group of parents approached our office and they really wanted to rebuild West Sunset Playground. As we worked together on fundraising for the new playground, I remembered my own fond experiences at West Sunset and thought of how children of future generations should be able to enjoy it as much as my brother and I did there. When Sava Pool reopened in 2009 with its beautiful modern design, I couldn't help but feel a twinge of jealousy because that's where I took my first swimming lessons and then later spent much time practicing on the swim team and then teaching swimming lessons. 
When I go to my parents' house um, and I look outside their living room window, I think, wow, that's the country's largest municipal solar power project right there on the Sunset <laughs> Reservoir. <laughs> and our office worked to bring that there with the PUC. Um, whenever I think of how I first learned to ride a bicycle, um, I remember how my parents supported our district's small businesses uh, way back then. They bought me and my brother our first bicycles from Nomad Cyclery um, over on Irving Street, where I now spend uh, a lot of my time working very closely with the Merchants Association. Uh, it's been so exciting to see new businesses bloom in our district, attracting people from all over the city to the outer sunset. At the same time, I am so glad that places that I went to as a child um, are still there. So as we talk about job creation and economic stimulation for the city, I believe it's important to engage small businesses in our local communities, and I look forward to continuing my work with the local merchants. When I look outside my living room window, I see Ocean Beach. Um, I think about how District 4 is so lucky to serve as the gateway to the beach, and I'm excited to work with the various agencies to improve the infrastructure, amenities, and access to the gem in our district's backyard. When we talk about access to our district and public transportation, I think about my experience riding Muni growing up. Uh, back then, there was no next bus, there was no 311, um, but Muni has indeed made improvements uh, to its service. But uh, more must be done for Muni to adequately serve our outer sunset residents, uh, who have some of the long, longest commutes in the city. And whenever parents call our office distressed about their child's school assignment, I think about how lucky I was to have gone through the public school system, and I got to attend schools near my home where I could walk uh, to and from school with my friends. I am so proud to be a product of public education, and especially of the San Francisco Unified School District. So as you can see, it is a little difficult for me to separate my work life from my personal life. Um, I had a great time growing up in the Sunset District, and that's why my parents chose to raise me there in the first place. Um, I look forward to building upon the great work that we started five years ago, uh, making sure that our children and families have adequate playgrounds and parks to enjoy, including bringing Larson Jet back, um, making sure that our district residents are well represented when it comes to citywide budget discussions and that our city is well positioned for long-term budget stability, and making sure that we have a thriving local economy. People choose to live in the outer sunset for a certain quality of life. Um, and I hope that I can contribute my part in making sure that people, whether you're a single college student, whether you're starting a new family, whether you're a third generation Sunset uh, resident, or whether you're part of a multi-generational family um, trying to support each other, I want to make sure that people still want to live in the outer sunset. I want to make sure that people still want to live in San Francisco. And now, um, I would like to take a moment to thank someone who has been a huge part of my life, Carmen Chu. Uh, <laughs> to me, Carmen is someone who has really set a great example of what a supervisor should be. Someone who is able to maintain their integrity through a challenging work atmosphere. Someone who always approaches every issue in an incredibly thoughtful and intelligent manner uh, after considering all sides. And someone who, even if you are in a disagreement with, treats you with respect. Um, as John Kerry said uh, upon assuming his new role as Secretary of State following Hillary Clinton, I have big heels to fill. <laughs> so Carmen, thank you for your service to District 4 and to San Francisco. Um, the city is so lucky to have you as our next assessor, and I know you will accomplish great things for our, our city in that role. And finally, I am incredibly grateful to have worked alongside Cami Blackstone, my fellow legislative aide for all these years. <laughs> Yes, Cami brought an incredible amount of enthusiasm, hard work, and of course, a killer sense of humor to the office. Uh, most of all, Cami genuinely cares about the district and she never ever stops thinking about how to make it a place where families continue wanting to live there. Um, so thank you, Cami, for everything you've done uh, for District 4. So with that, I'm excited to continue work for, working for District 4 and I look forward to working with the members of the board, the mayor, the rest of the city family in the upcoming years to move our great city forward. Thank you. So we have a few moments to uh, any questions to people. Otherwise, we can go and get the work of the city done. Thank you. Thank you.
there.